We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care. Today on Victorious Living. What am I trying to tell you? The devil know who Jesus is. The enemy know him quite well. Sickness know who he is. Trouble know who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. I want y'all to know that he is well known. Hallelujah. By circumstances and problems and situations. They know when he speaks, they have to back up. I told you what he did a moment ago when he spoke to the wind, what happened? The wind know him. This is Victorious Living from the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church based in Jackson, Mississippi, comes this edition of Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Fortson. If you would turn to Mark Gospel, the fifth chapter right I got my mind back amen if you would go to the first verse I want to show you a situation here that um, it was a bad situation it was a situation that human intervention has been tried on several occasions, but it was not any success. Hallelujah. And I want to say to the congregation at large today, and to our listeners, that perhaps on social media, Yes, there are circumstances and conditions that we face and we go through that are bigger than us. Hallelujah. It's more than we can handle and more than we can deal with. And, and don't let that be surprising to you. Always remember that we're only human. Hallelujah. But I also want you to be reminded of this. There is not a circumstance or condition that you would ever be faced with that God can't handle. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many things God does for us that we don't even see it or know it. He do it secretly or privately or he don't make an announcement. Hallelujah, when he does it for us. But there are some things, amen, that would never get done in our life if we don't call on it. Amen. He makes himself available. He wants to, hallelujah. I want you to know that I don't care what you're going through. God wants to deliver you in it. Amen. Sometimes he'll deliver you out of it, but even if he don't deliver you out of it, he'll deliver you in it. All I want is deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just like the Hebrew boys. He told the king, can you, amen, imagine that little old Jewish Hebrew boy is going to stand before the king of Babylon that was the emperor of the whole world and tell him, hallelujah, that my God will deliver me out of your hand? Hallelujah. Amen. And then also he said, look, he is able to deliver me out of the furniture of fire. What he was simply saying, amen, that my deliverance is going to come from you, hallelujah, even if the fire should kill me. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want you to understand this, hallelujah, amen. But even if he doesn't deliver us out of the fire, we're not going to bow to you. 
Hallelujah. I, I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten to the point that you're not going to bow to the devil? Even though it seems like he has the upper hand. But I want you to understand this, that God's hand is always higher than the devil. God is always, hallelujah, in charge. And he is never subject, amen, to what the enemy, amen, caused to happen in your life. I'm here to tell you that whatever you're going through, God is greater. Hallelujah. Maybe a sickness, maybe problems or troubles, maybe let down disappointment, maybe broken marriage, broken home, maybe financial problem, hallelujah. Maybe stressful problem that messing with your mind, hallelujah. But God is bigger than your problem. And sometimes, let me tell you, the greatest problem that you have is not you having it, but your loved one having it. But I want you to know God is so good, hallelujah. Even for your sake, he'll reach out and touch your loved one. Hallelujah. That's why I'm telling us, you all, amen, if we ever wake up and recognize, amen, who we got in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we'll recognize the great victory that we got. Oh, I thank him. And I praise him. Hallelujah. And I give him glory. So I'm saying to us today, God, amen, don't want us to give up. But he want us to recognize where our real help lies. Jesus let us know about a situation that took place in his day. That was a serious situation. I can't see where the family of this individual was seeking God in his behalf. I can't see where this individual verbally was seeking God for himself. All I can see in this passage of scripture is nothing but God, mercy and compassion. Hallelujah. The Bible let us know that he is loaded with compassion and with mercy. It is new every morning. Hey, you all, all the blessing that God sent our way we don't ask for them, and none of them we really, we deserve. Y'all got it? But he just, amen, sometime, hallelujah, his mercy and his compassion, it just flow in our direction. That's why he is always worthy of praises. That's why we should always magnify his name. Hallelujah. Sometime, hallelujah, praises be going on in the house, and amen, you, amen, thinks that I, I don't know anything special that he's done for me. Amen. But go ahead and praise him anyhow because there's some special things that have taken place in your life and you didn't even know it. But because of his mercy, because of his compassion, he blesses us and takes care of us. This is something that we know. Hallelujah. And we must never hold back on him. Hallelujah. The Bible let us know that over in the Gadarean country is a man that no longer was able to stay at home. No longer to hang out with his wife, his family, his kids because he was demon possessed. Hallelujah. Then the Bible let us know that he dwelt in the tombs out in the graveyard and he hung out in the mountains. And then the scripture tells us that he was untainable. They tried to tame him and they couldn't tame him. They tried to bound him. They were 
amen, tie him with chains and he would pluck them and with ropes and he would break them in pieces. And he would just walk around the mountain day and night and he would, amen, cry out, amen, like uh, coyotes, hallelujah. And he would actually take rocks and he would stretch himself and cut himself. The scripture let us know that he had lost his mind. Hallelujah. But God is a merciful God. The Bible let us know that Jesus on the other side of the Galilean Sea, he and his disciples took a boat ride. And I can't see anything that he did when he went on the other side but this one miracle. And then he got back on the boat and he went to the other side. That tells me, hallelujah, that if I'm going through something and if I need God, amen, Jesus is not like the average evangelist. He don't need, amen, a crowd in order to run a revival. Hallelujah. I, I want y'all to understand that I got the big head. I honestly feel that if I was the only person that ever existed in the world, amen, through, in all the time, Jesus still would have gone to the cross and died just for me. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible let us know that one soul is important in the eyes of God. He, whereby he gave the parable where, amen, the shepherd left the nanny in nine and went after the one. But the whole, amen, moral of this parable to show you that more joy in heaven over one soul that repent than nanny nine that don't need to be repent. That's why I be so happy when people recognize, hallelujah, that they are absent from, amen, the kingdom of God and they become a part of it. Whatever it takes, amen, for you to be saved, I want you to know, hallelujah, don't put it off. You may have to let some things go, but let it go, hallelujah. Let me tell you this, think about this. When you let things go, think about what you're getting, not what you're letting go. Amen. When you, amen, let things of the world go, it may be a girlfriend, it may be a job, it may be a bad habit, hallelujah. Let it go. Usually it is the bad thing that you're letting go in order to get the good thing. When you get Jesus Christ, hallelujah, I want you to know, amen, you are getting everything that you need. Jesus stopped by. Mary and Martha house in Lazarus. And Martha was busy preparing to entertain him. Hallelujah. But Mary wasn't all that concerned about impressing Jesus. She was concerned about amen being fed from him. And so the Bible says she's sitting at his feet and amen. She was listening to his teaching and his preaching. But Martha, amen, became concerned and told Jesus that you don't care if she sat there with you and not come and help me. Jesus said, you're too cumbersome. Amen, you're cumbersome by many things. One thing is needful, amen, and Mary, amen, have desired that good thing. Hallelujah. I want you to know, amen, amen, when you, amen, desire Jesus and the thing that he had for you, it's the only thing that you really need. And what he was really saying that when you get me, hallelujah, you got the complete package. You got joy in the midst of your sorrow. You got real hope for tomorrow. You got a way maker out of no way. You got a friend, amen, when you're among, amen, a whole lot of unfriendly folks. You got a competent keeper, with, amen, when you're lonely. Have the Lord ever visited you in the midnight, hallelujah, when nobody else was there? That's the God that I'm talking about. Amen, you got a way maker when you don't see no way. Have you ever been in a situation and you couldn't see yourself out? And all of a sudden, amen, God... Gave you direction you didn't even know was there. I want y'all to know that we serve an amazing God. And so, while he was on his way over there, 
to take care of this one miracle. Hallelujah. This is an amazing point. We don't know that much about Jesus, even though we put forth a great effort to get to know him. But the devil knew him real good. Hallelujah. The devil has a real keen knowledge of who he is and has a great fear, amen, for him. Hallelujah. James told us that even the devil know that there's one God. And then he trembles. Hallelujah. Just the name, amen, of Jesus caused the devil to tremble. Hallelujah. Because he know who he is. He know, amen, who have already defeated him. He know who has power over him. And so while he was going across to get to this one miracle, the Bible let us know that the sea became contrary. And when the sea became contrary, the apostles, the, the disciples at that time became real concerned because they saw their life in jeopardy. And then they thought that they was going to be destroyed because the water that was in the sea, the Galilean Sea, now was coming into the boat. It's all right to go for a boat ride as long as the boat on top of the water. Hallelujah. But when the water, amen, start filling up the boat, I want you to know, amen, problem is on its way. And so, amen, they were so fearful and so afraid. But they failed to recognize who was on the boat with them. I want y'all to understand this. Amen. When you got Jesus Christ in your life, amen, he's on the boat with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you know, hallelujah, amen, that when you get saved, get baptized in Jesus' name, and get filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, that this body here is no longer your body. Paul said, know ye not that, amen, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Amen. So which means that in you is where Jesus is living. The kingdom of God has come into the earth. Hallelujah. So when you say Jesus, hallelujah, don't look to the heaven. Don't look beyond the moons or the stars. Look into your own heart. That's where he is. You ain't got to say, Lord, come here. Lord, you already here. Hallelujah. You in me. This is your body. Hallelujah. Amen. When you get cancer, ask God, what you going to do about this cancer in your body? Hallelujah. Amen. When somebody come against you, hallelujah. Amen. Said, God, don't you see somebody coming against your body? What you going to do about it? I'm, now look, your pastor ain't talking crazy. This is the way that it is. Paul said, in him we move. We live. We have our being. We only exist in because, amen, he is in us and with us. Hallelujah. Amen. David said this before he got the Holy Ghost. He said he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. You don't have to call 911 to get him. Hallelujah. Y'all understand what I mean? Because he's already on the scene. Hallelujah. Now, you follow those practices that we're supposed to uh, because of our civic responsibility. But I'm just trying to let you know that when you serve God, he's with us. So they went down and they woke him up. And they said, care is not that we perish. I know we read this, you all, but I want it to become a reality in our life. Jesus has done all kinds of things, hallelujah, to show us who we are. To show us who he is, amen, in our behalf. But we don't take it to the heart like we're supposed to. When this thing happened, notice what he did, hallelujah. He came to, amen, the deck. 
And he looked at the water that was troubling them, amen. And he looked at the wind that was blowing to trouble the water, amen. He spoke to the wind and he rebuked it. And then he spoke to the wave and said, peace be still. And where there was disturbing and confusion, now there's calmness. What he wanted to show them is that I got the power over the wind that blow and the wave that dash. Hallelujah. And what he is telling us today, that whatever wind is blowing in your life, I got the power over it. Whatever wave, amen, it, it tosses in you, I'm in control of it. Hallelujah. So all you got to do is just look to recognize the God that is in control and look to the God that's in control. You'll be amazed what he will do for you. I'm here to tell you today, hallelujah, God wants to help us. He's there for us. He's reaching out to us, hallelujah. But somebody ought to stand up like the, the man did, amen, in the vision that Paul had over in Macedonia. He said, come over here and help us. He will hear your cry. But you got to cry out. You got to desire his help. He'll come where you are. I'm here to tell, amen, the peoples of God that in Jesus Christ we got everything that we need. Hallelujah. We got to learn to... Take advantage of it and to utilize what God has given us. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to tell you today, if God did all this for this man, whereby we didn't even see an all-night prayer service requesting it. We didn't see praying parents, hallelujah, crying out for it. We didn't see friends, amen, joining themselves together, amen, and petition heaven for it. But he did it because of his mercy and because of his grace. What more will he do for us if we were called out to him? I'm here to tell you that God can fix any situation if we would just give him an opportunity to do it. If we would just call on him. Amen. He more than a fictitious, amen, representative. Hallelujah. But he get present into our situation. So the Bible let us know. I want you to look at, look at his power. Look at his greatness. Hallelujah. The Bible said that when he got over to the other side, no soon he stepped off of that ship. Start walking in that Galilean country. Notice what happened. The people that's in the community, they didn't even know who was visiting them. Hallelujah. They didn't even know, amen. They had a, a visitor from heaven. They didn't know glory had stepped on the show. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They didn't know, hallelujah, that the Son of God, a man was there in that country. But somebody did know. It was those devils that was in the man. He knew who was there, hallelujah. What am I trying to tell you? The devil know who Jesus is. The enemy know him quite well. Sickness know who he is. Trouble know who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. I want y'all to know that he is well known. Hallelujah. By circumstances and problem and situation. They know when he speaks. They have to back up. I told you what he did a moment ago when he spoke to the wind, what happened? The wind know him. He spoke to the amen, the way, what happened? The waves knew him. Hallelujah. All he did is just stepped off of the boat. Amen. And the devil came running out of the mountain because he knew who he was. Hallelujah. Look, you all, if we ever go on vacation and come back knowing who Jesus is, hallelujah, 
it's going to be some trouble what you're talking about. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. Some people think they can, they can maneuver because who they know. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I know the sheriff. I know the chief of police. I, I know the judge. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we, we go to the same club. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And, and you think that's something big. And it is, amen, if you look at it in the natural. It can help you with a few problems. But brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you who I know. I know Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, y'all didn't get excited. You know, all this name passing. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I know people's in politics. Hallelujah. You think that's something big. But when you know Jesus. Hallelujah. I said, when you know Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Read just a little bit, Brother Urban. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. Notice. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. An unclean spirit. Read. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Read. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Read. But when he saw Jesus, when he saw Jesus, afar off, Afar off, he ran and worshiped him. Now, let him. me say this, you all. It wasn't that man running and worshiping Jesus out of his own, amen, intuition and understanding. It was the devils, the demon that was in that man, hallelujah, that was falling down, amen, worshiping Jesus. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like a copy of today's message, need prayer, or have questions about receiving Christ in your life, Give us a call at 601-354-2599 or visit our website at gbtchurch.org. Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Forkson is brought to you by the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, Jackson, Mississippi. We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care.